What's up, guys? Mike Nova here, and welcome back to 1,000. <laughs> to chemically bonded, one game. Uh, so. As you guys may know, there's no videos last week. And the reason for that is because we had an unexpected guest that I didn't know about. So I was unable to record. Okay. So, our last. We also had on July 5th, so let's hop back into it. Tranquility greets me as I stumble upon the classroom in a state of almost pure silence. It's early, sure, but knowing my lack of empathy towards being here, it's a surprise to find the room almost empty. Without the science club moreover, if it wasn't for Kyoko, I wouldn't be able to find the will to have a class this far in advance. Despite being marginally older than normal, it's still enough of a change for it to be noticeable. It has a clear effect on my actions. The culprit herself, of course, is one of the only other people to be present in this sparse morning environment. Good morning. No, ma. Good morning, Kyoko. That trophy expression is enough to make me smile in accord. Thinking that we've gotten this used to each other in so little time is a funny fact in itself. Given that, thinking back on my actions from yesterday really puts the scene into perspective. Fine. If it's not what I think, you must have had a reason to stop me like this. I'm glad you understand. Mulling over it, the feeling of guilt still resides within me as Kyoko stands before me with an ever so carefree smile. It's not if it was an easy decision, but after me finding out about the past, it's something I just can't help being interested in. It might be rude, it might cause trouble, but not hearing things from my own perspective would just be ignoring the problem at hand. I wouldn't be giving her a chance. Then again, spending time with Kyoko is fun enough for me to f still feel uneasy about it, despite the events of the last club meeting. No matter what I do, I can't get an image out of my mind. I guess all guys are the same in the end. Hey, what are you thinking about? N nothing. It just looked like you were zoning out. Come on, sit down. I thought I was already sitting. <laughs> It's probably best if I don't think about it. And even without nothing less than a slight wave, the response is another warm smile as I make my way over towards my desk. The law of classes is a good enough break to think over my situation with Kyoko and Naomi. I made my decision. Sitting down and stretching, a selection of the morning's conversations make their way to my ears. I assume me like, like this is uh, behind Kyoko. That's me. Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, we have a new economics teacher! The only reason why we even study economics is because of this business-oriented country. It's not even inspired to be an investor. I'm happy enough going about my life without any particular sense of direction. We got school is enough as it is. Things like this make me wonder what Kyoko plans to do with her own life. Really? I wonder what they're like. Time drags forward as the class waits around for the new teacher. Perhaps there's no one that teaching a new class, but then again, it is their job. Soon enough, a student man makes his way into the class with a rather lax, but a bit still from expression. This will be our new teacher, by the looks of it. I'd be pretty concerned if the school had left let a stranger make it this far into the school. Hello, class. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves this morning. Unlike your other teachers, I aim to actually teach you something, even if you aren't that interested. Still better than my great time math teacher. He looks over at one of my classmates at the front of the room, sprawled over his desk for a quick nap. I know it's only an economic and really that interesting, but it's still worth paying attention. If I study hard enough, one day I might become the Kyoko of economics. Turning to face the board, the new teacher grabs a stick of chalk from the desk to scrawl his name on the board. Being known as the teacher isn't in his best interest. Even teachers have to introduce themselves. You can call me... Mr. Kabir, and I trust that you all will. Oh, Mr. K. You must have heard what we called Mr. Yamato, something along the lines of Homer Crab. We are pretty shitty students. Turn your textbooks to page 15. We'll get started with some questions. Hopefully I don't get picked. It might not be along the lines of knowing the structure of a mitochondrion, but I still don't feel like he has I butchered that. 
Half past me, flicking through the pages of my book, I noticed Kimura panning his eyes across and listening to the class. He doesn't know us, so he must be choosing someone at random from the roster. Hmm. Please don't call me. I don't want to do this gag again. Ishikawa, answer the question at the bottom of the page. Me? Sure. You're the only Ishikawa in this class. Springing up from her seat with a smile on her face, Kyoko scans the book before her to find the question set upon her. You're in a free market. Prices adjust to reconcile scarcity and desires. Yonko's response, a trophy and cute proclamation of something so mundane, brings a smile to my face. My economics class can't be this cute. That's right. Your previous teacher must have taught you well. Well, more likely it's Kyoko. Either way, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I might not enjoy economics, but I don't think I'll hate the, his lessons. Class quickly reaches an end after the lunch bell chimes throughout the room. Having class be this long is pretty unusual, but in the end, some of it was pretty interesting. The foggy spans across the room as those around me begin packing their bags, ready to leave for lunch. Remember class, sometimes in life we have to make tough decisions. Investing in stocks isn't easy. <laughs> Trust me. It sounds like he's had experience. Right now, I too face a pretty rough decision. I'm still rather uneasy by the choice I made yesterday. Signing with Naomi wasn't easy, but the thought of leaving Kyoko lines still bugs me. Maybe I should ask him for advice. People find out of the class one by one as I approach Mr. Kamio's desk, making sure to, to, to making sure to check if Kyoko has left too. Surprisingly, she has. I thought she would have stayed behind, but she does have her own life after all. Mr. Kamio glances towards me as I now confront him. The two of us alone in the classroom. So, I had a question. Ask ahead, but please keep it brief. I have to leave soon. Okay. I was thinking about what you said about decisions. Yes. Decisions can be tough. I made a decision, but I'm not sure if I should go back on it. I can't help but be vague. He probably wouldn't be interested in what's going on with Kyoko and Naomi, but asking for advice on it might prove to be useful. Hmm. I think you should just go with your gut. It might sound stupid, but there is something inside you telling you what to do. Listen to it. That kind of makes sense. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Not necessarily, but it wasn't that bad. Speaking of two has given me a little sense of my situation as well. Mr. Kamiya goes back to sorting the papers on his desk as I make my way into the corridor to head off to lunch, despite being pretty late now. In the end, I'll have to come to the decision eventually. The corridor is empty as I trace my way down it to have lunch in this little time left. I should have time to get a small bite to eat. Afternoon classes come to an end rather quickly, presenting me with the opportune moment of making my final choice. Either I go with Kyoko and out of the science club, or come up with you so I can turn off Naomi to hear what she has to say. As seats around me become increasingly vacant, I too rise from my seat, ready to make my decision. Okay, so we need to find Naomi, or go to the science club. I don't remember having this choice before when I chose to go with Kyoko, but that was a few months, that was like, that was like two years ago, so... I actually don't remember. Maybe I chose to go to the science club, but if that was what I chose, I know what kind of goes on. But I just haven't done the night, um, like, spend more time with Naomi than Kyoko in the original when I played with myself. So I think I'm going to go with by Naomi because, once again, like I said last time, going with Naomi, I feel bad ditching Kyoko when I said I would go. I'm going with Kyoko means I kept my promise, but then I don't find Naomi, and so I did kind of say I would go see her, kind of like, either way, I'm saying Kyoko because I didn't go, I'm saying with Naomi because I chose, said I would come, and then I don't show up, but then I'm actually no along with Kyoko, and Naomi I'm not, so it's another tough choice, but this is what happens when you play the visual novel. 
especially this multiple goals to end up with an official role dating sim, you kind of have these tough decisions. But for the sake of this playthrough, I'm going to find Naomi. At the end of it, I can't have what Naomi has to say. Even if we haven't been going on, going on great to each other, more than strangling to approach me as she did, it must be important to her. Going down will probably end up being the better decision. Hopefully, the issue of her relationship with Kyoko has bugged me since I met her. Understanding more about them both surely can't be a bad thing. There must be my own actions, and I want to know what they are. Step by step, I made my way toward the front of the class. Two more questions to what's clear with this. Now is a better time than ever to tell her I won't be coming to the side for him. Hey, are you ready? The face before me is hard when turned down. I know it's must for a smile, one from the heart. Having known her efforts to found the science club, leaving her alone like this horse, but the decision I made, time to come with an excuse. Sorry, Kyoko, I don't think I can come today. My family needs me at home. I expected her new smile fades away before me as the meeting behind me, my words quickly reaches her. You won't be coming. That's okay. There's always tomorrow. There is, but seeing like it's something that's exactly pleasing. Nevertheless, I made my choice. In the end, I'm new so I can understand her own feeling. It's apparent that only must mean something to her, whether it's good or bad. I just have to find out. I'll see you tomorrow. Good. Goodbye. Turning my back on her woeful voice, I head down the corridor in a direction that I haven't been in a while this, at this time, towards the stairs to leave. Before I make it out, a dead hand rests upon my shoulder. Before you go, what's the atomic mass of palladium? 106.4? Respondent smile and appears in the end. Kyoko trusts me enough to respect her interest. I'm still a member of the Sally Club. Nothing well will change that. See you see tomorrow. Sometime in life, we have to make tough decisions, Mr. Cabello. And we're going to end it here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, sure to click, on, click that like button and let me know you're enjoying the content. It also helps support the channel. And if you haven't done it, click that red subscribe button. Enjoy the part I'm here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.